Yeah, hi there. Welcome to tuxocher.com. Welcome on my video channel. And after a long, long time, Skillam will release Lumina with library functions next week, exactly according to their information on December 18th. The software still is available for Windows and Macintosh systems and will cost around uh, 69 euros. If you pre-order, you will get a rebate of 10 euros on your pre-order. And if you order with the code here down on the video description, you get a rebate of another 10 euros if you pre-order the software. I got myself Lumina 3 and since there is actually no new features in the image processing part of the software, we just concentrate of the, on the library functions and see how Skillam kept their promise. So let's go and take a look on the software on a desktop PC. Okay, I downloaded um, Lumina 3 with the lips and uh, we installed it. And uh, this uh, installation is a sort of network install because most of the items are downloaded through the internet, but we choose another folder not to influence the installation of Lumina 2018, which I have here on my desktop PC. Go here to Skillum, go to Lumina 3 and say OK. OK, it's finished, but I guess uh, I will start with the wrong language. OK, we'll switch the uh, language and start it again. OK, start it and uh, Lumina 3 will guide you to the basic uh, settings by nine windows. Here's the base uh, folder where your pictures come from and we modify this because I want to read in my most recent pictures from here. And the catalog, like always on the Windows system, defaults to your personal profile and here in the pictures folder, so I leave that, that's okay. Next one gives you a short introduction and the menu features, we just go right through. And now Lumina will start creating the uh, gallery and reads in all the images on drive G. By the way, that's a SSD drive with my most recent pictures contains roughly a little bit more than 8,000 pictures. And at this point, we back out. This uh, takes roughly about five to six minutes. Okay, he finished uh, reading in all the images, so we can start and we make this a little bit bigger. And there we get into the new module, the library module. And as you can see, it takes quite a while before the application displays some of the thumbnails from the images we just read in. That's a little bit annoying. A lot of images, but they're not displaced. So that is, to me, one of the errors Skillam has to work on. We'll try another one. Okay, there the images pop up but still not all the images. That is an effect I cured a couple of times right now. But okay, we go into the folders just read in. Maybe we pick just the 2018 and that are only 3,270. Okay, it's a little bit faster, but some of the images still are missing. But uh, that is the way the library module works. You have here the folders represented by your hard disk or in this case an SSD and here you got what Lumina does yeah, sort of automatic for you is to order them by year and even month of capture time 
and you could go even further like this one and go into July and you have here all the images I took on 18th of July okay just one and here on the outer right hand side you can see the number of images within this folder okay we go back like let's take the other ones go back to photos okay it goes a little bit faster maybe it's only after the first time you can here enlarge the size of the previews okay it takes a while again that's uh, speeding up this uh, would be a good task for the next update Skillum has to do go to a different year okay but as you can see here it takes a while till the previews are displayed sharply okay now what you can do is what you see in the library module and that is uh, almost in every image processing tool you can right click and set a rating you got here the uh, shortcuts for one two five okay just let them for example make it a three and this one a three and you can set color labels for certain purposes and i would take here a red one and here for example let's take um, a green one and here you can filter the displayed images either by the stars okay i take the three i got both images and if i filter for a color label i only just get one image displayed here by lumina the effect you saw here that if the one image is marked it do doesn't go back to the marked image we take this one and now what you can do further to manage your images is to set a flag they use the same names and uh, shortcuts like lightroom you can take a flag or a p for picked images and an x for rejected images and of course if you just read in the images they are all unflagged by default okay you mark this image and maybe this one are trees i captured a lot of trees and maybe i captured trees in different times of the year so i could make an album called trees and even though the image was marked it is not automatically taken over into the album but now what I can do, I mark those two images, for example, and just drag them over to the new album. And now the album has two images displayed in. I could do this with those here. And now the album has four images in the album. Okay. The other thing is you if you double click an image that is to me a situation to be improved is you get lumina right away in the edit mode here you got the slide strip you can hide this if you want more room for your image you are editing and i don't want to talk about the edit mode i did that on the video for lumina 2018 the last update with sky enhancer and the ai accent filter so let's go back to the library that is the largest one where you can do the thumbnails or the display of the single images and uh, lumina 3 still is a raw converter or a image processing tool which doesn't force you to import or read in the image here in the library you can open another image without having this in your library by open up images for quick edit and don't be confused by the name quick edit we just open the lumina file from the last version it changes to edit mode and after reading in the image you have all image processing opportunities you are used from lumina just by adding filters or changing the workspace but now if i do a little change here like uh, open up the exposure a little bit and i back up to library go back to the grid mode now you can see that there is a new yeah let's call it album the quick edits 
where the latest images or where the images lately edited are managed in and, and of course if you can see that there's another automatic shortcut that is recent recent edited and recently added of course because i just read in all the images this contains all the images I read in just by installing the software. And here you got the same effect, recently added and there is no display. That is uh, uh, sort of annoying, even though Lumina took only you know, five to six minutes to read in the complete drive G with the, uh, you can see it here, 8,422 images. But uh, if they're not dis displayed at all, I, it's yeah, it's not usable. Sorry. Okay, that was a new library function. It's uh, yeah, a little bit uh, disappointing, and I cannot understand that uh, Skillum, at least even when we talk about a first version of the library functions, didn't use the EXIF metadata which is uh, camera lens iso settings and so on to order and manage your images in this software the other problem is that um, displaying the thumbnails of the images seems to be a problem of caging or maybe reading in like i did 8000 images within five to six minutes was a little bit too fast there are still problems if you just view an image and apply it to an album and you switch to the album the this the uh, image is not displayed at all you have to wait on the other hand i don't understand why skillum didn't implement a function where you can mark let's say three or five images from a hdr series and handle them over to their own software Aurora HDR or to any other external editor that is missing too and so far the software isn't a competitor for Lightroom at all I guess they have to work a lot on this software and have a roadmap on their website where they promise until July next year to have the EXIF data used to implement virtual copies of, a, of an image and IPTC data to be edited and synched with other images, of course. Maybe we, ha we have just to wait and see if Skillum will uh, keep their promise, but uh, they've taken somewhere almost around a year for their library function and uh, the result now is pretty disappointing so with the promised function next year in july hopefully they will make it till then it might be a real good function including the library function lumina still is a good image processing tool if you think about the last video about the ai accent filter and the sky enhancer that is a pretty cool thing where you can just take two rulers and maybe add a little bit sharpness to the image and you're all done okay decide yourself if you use the pre-order option the uh, additional rebate code down in the video description is valid even after the software has been released on december 18th if you have any questions, just place them into the comments. And of course, I would like it if you place a like on this video, or I surely would appreciate it if you subscribe my channel. Till the next time, ciao, tux auche.